in the center of Baghdad. Now, ready to go to Iraq. So excited to come back. Even though it's right after the elections and the situation is not super stable, I hope that I'll have a good time. Ready to go back to Iraq. Boating accepted here from Jordan. Now ready to go to Baghdad again. Yeah, I was there six months ago. So excited to come back and go hopefully to as many cities as I can. And wow, so glad that everything went well. I'm flying with Royal Jordanian and I'm here in Amman. Just had a day here. Jordan and now the time has come to come back to Iraq. I'm gonna be there alone, have to take the taxi for the first one and a half day and then my friend will come and pick me up. I have some time alone in Baghdad and it's the time right after the election. It's not the best time honestly but we'll show the good side as always. So two sleepless nights and now ready to go. I'm fresh, I had some nice iced coffee and feeling good. First time I had a bit of butterflies in my stomach, this time I'm just really excited to come and make some videos. So let's do it. <laughs> In Iraq you always make new friends and the time had come, I arrived in Baghdad at night. I paid $77 for my visa on arrival as a European citizen and I was ready to go out in the nightlife of Baghdad. I just got through the security check, got my visa. The funny thing was the police guy said, oh, you're a YouTuber. You probably remember my videos from last time, which I hope made an impact on how people understand Iraq, which is one of the most victimized countries by the mass media, etc. At first I was a little nervous when he said he recognized me from the videos, but he said welcome and he asked me where I was going this time and I said hopefully I'll do the rest of the Iraqi cities that I have left. Anyway, I'm just so happy to be here. I have no friends coming for me. I'll just go to my place and wait for Mohammed to come in a few days and then chill out in Baghdad a bit. Maybe go out at night alone. We'll see. Baghdad salam. Trahabekum. I took the airport taxi on arrival and needed to change some money. And the guy honestly didn't give me the best exchange rate. That's life. Back in the airport. With an iconic taxi driver. So I'm back in Baghdad. Unfortunately, the guy who changed the money in the airport was a bit of a scammer, really bad stuff. I talked to some nice people, the driver is nice. But the guy changing money, he took a bit advantage of the currency, unfortunately. Yeah, there can be bad persons in every country, so that's how it is sometimes. But I love Iraq still. One of the busiest cities in the Arab world. Back in the busy traffic here in Baghdad. There's a lot of queue. Part of the show. The time was around 1 a.m. and I was ready to go out. All right, so back in Baghdad here at night. A lot of action here in the streets. There was a stranger that just texted me. I've never met him before that we could maybe go for some dinner here in Iraq. And I'm alone here for the first day, so I might accept his invitation and go out and get a drink and maybe some Iraqi food, which I really love. A few moments later. Assalamu alaikum. Good to see you. So, what's your name? My name is Abdul Ahmad. Abdul Ahmad. Checking in at my four star hotel. Five months ago, we stayed four guys in a small hotel. Now I'm splashing out big time. Staying here in that four star hotel. Now it's time to go for some dinner with my new friend here, Abdul Rahman. He's such a nice guy, I already like him so much. Mm -hmm. So, let's go for some food. Good to have your passport. Two sides of Baghdad. Okay. Where are we going now? Rasafa and Kerf. Now we are going to Ad Kerf. Okay, it's a huge city back up, the yeah. second biggest in the Arab world. To be fair, Riyadh and Baghdad are around the same size, but they're really massive cities. Baghdad is definitely not small, there are many areas you can visit. So now we're going to the fancy place here. Yeah. It's real Baghdad style and you're cruising around, you are at least seven or eight persons in the car. You fill up the back seat with five persons. So my friend, where are we now? Now we are in El Mansur. El Mansur. Yep. I thought you said Mosul. No, El Mansur. <laughs> then we would have taken a long way. Anyway, let's check out this fancy place in Baghdad. This is the best place in Baghdad. Let's see what Mohammed says in a few days. One of my favorite times in Baghdad is at night. That's where a lot of people come out. During the day it's so hot and here you really see so many cool lights and people. And take a look at this also. There are three military guys coming and you can always get some street food. There are so many options. You saw the military behind. 
<laughs> this is the fact that the media won't show you. You want me to? What's your country? Denmark. Denmark. Okay. You welcome. Salam alaikum. Shukran. You want cigar? Sure, why not? Okay. I don't smoke, but it's okay. okay. I am Osama from Iraq. This my... Iraqi hospitality. I don't smoke cigarettes, but shukran. This is my best friend. This is my best friend. Nice house. Oh, it's Turkish. Turkish guy in Baghdad, cigarette and new friends. I don't like to smoke actually, but it's alright, no worries. Do you want the cigarette? No, thank you. You don't smoke? I, I smoke, but I just left it before I think one month. Do you want? Oh, for one month. Okay. If you really need a cigarette in Baghdad, this is how you do. Yeah. You just ask. Very nice Baghdad. She said so. Okay. This is your favorite place in the city? Yeah, this is the favorite. my favorite place. I don't know why I didn't went here last time in Baghdad. Because this is maybe the best place in the city. Really interesting area, so many people out and... Yeah, it feels like you're in Tokyo or... Uh, in US. Oh, that's a football match, huh? Yeah. Guys, Iraq is playing right now. There's a huge crowd of people here. I hope Iraq will win. We always support Iraq. Last 10 seconds. There was a big change here last night. So many people out watching Iraq. Do you think Iraq will play the World Cup at once? Maybe. No. Maybe one day. Okay. So two two Iraq. Okay, I've never walked in a place with so, so many crowded. people. It's super crowded. Yeah. And so many nice hairstyles. I really need an upgrade with my hair. Look at all this. The hairstyles are so great. Anyway, we're going down to get some food now. Okay. Okay, my friend. He's the good guy. The mask man. Shukrana, baby. How are you? You're fine. Thank you. You are here from Baghdad. This is this area, Baghdad. Baghdad. I'm from Denmark. 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 Thank you. Happy to see. Just, I just met an Iraqi guy from Germany. Apparently, he didn't speak so much German, but anyway, nice guy. Okay, man, this is so cool. This is real Baghdad, the real Iraqi Baghdad experience. Al Mansur, Al Mansur Mall. Al Mansur Mall. Some girls, some ladies, Iraqi ladies. This mall is actually really, really big. Only in Iraq. This is the side of Baghdad I didn't really know about. There's still a lot of places I didn't see because it's a big, big city. I kept on being surprised in this giant mall. Bigger than many of the malls you'll find in Europe. Whoa. Just to let you know guys, I'm not in Germany, I'm not in Denmark. This is Iraq. Big playground for the Iraqi kids. And of course, the Joy Shop. What more can you wish for? People out here with their families and having some burgers and some fast food. Maybe some delicious Iraqi food. I could really use something to drink soon, but we're just touring the place. Burger King here. That is a Syrian. Oh, that's Syrian. Oh, Syrian. I love Syrian food. And Huga down here. That was a tour of something you probably haven't seen in Baghdad before. Look down here also. Your luxury. Iraqi luxury. I should have put on some Iraqi gold to look a little more fashionable. Yeah, we'll bring you some traditional clothes. Yeah, inshallah. We hope so. Okay. Thank you, man. Now I smell good. Now I get out. Do you have a good? Oh, grace. Benzema. Benzema. I got so many friends, sir. Habibi. Habibi. Shukran. Love you guys. I love it, bro. Okay. Take care. Stay safe. No, I don't think the Iraqi ladies can resist me. <laughs> Jalabia and perfume. So many perfume shops. Perfect. You're Mr. Perfect. Perfect, yes. I have five different kind of perfumes on my 
Denemark? Denemark, 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 Denmark, 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 This is if you don't have the original, then you can go to the Blunt Beauty Clinics and get it fixed. Free ads, right? Free ads, yeah. <laughs> and they don't pay me to say it. Oh, nice test one. Cristiano Ronaldo in the streets of Iraq. You better be careful on the streets. Don't mess with the Iraqis. But in reality, they are relaxed people. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this from Abil. Sunflower seeds. Why did you come to Iraq? It's my third time in Iraq. I like it. Iraq, great. Denmark. A lot of welcome here in Baghdad. And people, they know how to dress. So I'm always impressed. This restaurant give you just like shawarma and hamburger. Okay. Okay, so what do you want? This is the best one. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take, I always take the best one. Yeah, okay. let's take the... <laughs> Okay, now I'm ready to eat some Iraqi food. We'll see what we'll get. He said the chicken here is among the best, hopefully. Just a starter. Okay. Just uh, like a dessert. Starter, starter, starter. Until today, I didn't know Abdul Rahman. This is uh, the first time we meet. He was a stranger before, but now he's a friend already. After just a few hours. I always drink friends, I don't know why. Iraqi bread, always big. Still hot. It's a bread with the, also with the, some meat, uh, meat inside it. Iraqis eat different kind of bread to all kind of food. Fried mm. chicken. It's a chicken meat without any bones. Ah, okay. Great. Wow. Best chicken. I was having so much fun with my new friend and we were ready to move on. Ah, uh, you remember me? See the guys there. Salam! You see, is this the well-known YouTuber? I'm so full, I have so much food. But Iraqis, they can keep on going and going. So I'll take the last chicken half. Finish it as a Viking. All of the Iraqi people know this place. Okay. So, if you're Iraqi and you're watching this video, you probably know this ice cream place. The best ice cream in this neighborhood and the oldest this is really the luxury part of fact that typical iraqi i just met him today and he doesn't let me pay should i pay bro should i pay this name al robot sugar baby oh so holy man yeah we take four we don't go for less halwa taiba mm. A little bit on the nose. So guys, if a stranger asks you out in Baghdad, I think you should say yes. This is what you experience. You get a lot of different perfume. You get food, you get ice cream. You get a really good friend. Shikana, baby. I really want to pay, you know, I try my best, but it's really hard here in Iraq. As always, you should try to pay and so on, but the people here are extremely generous, very hospitable. And uh, that's the Iraqi spirit, the true Iraqi spirit. Really perfect evening here. I'm so happy to be back in Iraq and excited to make more videos. So, yalla yalla.